Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Selenium Python tutorial, we'll continue our discussion on the Selenium Python automation framework, which is the hybrid framework we are going to create. Now, previously we have externalized a lot of features or a lot of web elements and the methods or the operations on those web elements. So for example, in the Yatra launch page, we have created a launch page and we have basically created methods to handle depart from or going to details accordingly. Now there is still a lot of work that is required to be done as part of improvement of this particular code here. But as of now, we'll just try to externalize whatever is there in the test layer so that you understand what needs to be in the test case and what shouldn't need to be in the test case. So moving on, if you see here in the dynamic to handle dynamic scroll, what we are having here is this particular piece of code, the highlighted code, right? This is a massive piece of code that if you are going to handle scroll on any page or any test case, you have to write it again and again. Okay. Now this is not a good approach as well. So where should this dynamic scroll code needs to go? Now we have understood about this base package, right? So base package, what we'll be using this for is we'll be having a concept of base driver. So we have the Selenium web driver, but Selenium web driver methods out of the box won't provide us any of the logging functionality or as such, if we want to integrate the logging functionality within those methods. So we have to write our own wrapper class, right? Or we have to write our wrapper methods so that we have the exception handling for those methods and the logging functionality in those Selenium web driver methods when we use in our code. So that's what the concept of base driver is. Now, what we'll do is we'll simply do what we'll do is we'll create a python file and we'll name it as a base driver okay and what this file will have is it will have all the selenium web driver methods and we'll wrap them so that we have our own functionality around those methods say for example if we want to have the logging or we want to have exception handling implemented when we use those methods we can achieve that so as of now what we can do is as part of the base driver class, let me create the class. So I'll name it as class base driver, right? And create a method. So we'll say in it and this accepts the driver instance, right? And we'll say self dot driver drive. Okay. Now, because this is base driver, so it needs to get the driver instance. So there needs to be a linkage between the driver, right? So the, the web driver. So when somebody is invoking this base driver or instantiating, instantiating the base driver web elements, there has to be a driver that can drive those methods, right? Or, dri or drive that functionality. So that is why we are, we need to have this driver instance here, right? or a constructor here, which accepts the driver argument. Now in the test search flights, we are having this dynamic scroll code. So what we can do is we can simply move it to the base driver, right? The reason being that this particular code will be reused. Will Once we move it to the base driver, it can be reused in any number of test cases. And we do not have to hard code it the way that we have done here, right? So if we have tomorrow, 50 different test cases where we want to scroll up and down, we can use the same code because it's available in my base driver. So I'll create a new method and I'll name it as simply I'll name it as page scroll and paste everything here. Okay. So now what this page scroll method can do is it can we can use this method to scroll the pages, right? So to scroll to the bottom of the pages. Now we can also have the argument here up and down and we can create a logic to scroll up when somebody provides up or down when somebody provides down, right? So we can provide, you know, like not, not two arguments here. Basically we'll have something direction, right? So we can say direction and based on the direction provided here, the page can scroll up and down. So we'll implement that later. But as of now, to keep it simple, I'll just move the code here and import this time, right? So time import time. And this is the import that you have to use. Now this code basically, or this page scroll is moved here. Now all of our page classes, now this is the base driver class, right? So this is base driver class, which will wrap or which will have the common methods that can be reused by any of the pages, right? Or any of the 
uh, pages that are there in the application. So all the pages now what we'll do is we'll simply inherit this particular base driver, right? So all so launch page will inherit the base driver. And once you inherit, you have to import. So import base dot base driver. So this statement. So from this particular package, you will see that from package base, this base driver dot py file import this particular class, right? Similarly, we have to do this for the search flight results page. Okay, so if we move back, let me save this. And if we move back here, so what will happen in the search flight results page? So in the search re flight results page, when somebody clicks on the search button, the next page that opens is the search flight results page, right? In the yatra.com website. So if you go to the website and simply search for yatra.com, this is the application that we are using for building this automation framework. So we'll select depart from going to departure date and then click on search flight this is the first page right where we are trying to search the flights if we click on the search flight the next page is the flight results page and that's what our next page is here search flight results so what we'll do is we'll create this particular class as well right so this as same as yatra launch page we'll create the class here and we'll name it as search flight results okay and will define a constructor so we'll say def, def in it and as we know here that we all the pages need to be driven by a web driver right or a driver instance so we need to provide an argument driver and because we are also using weight so we'll provide weight as well we'll remove this weight very soon but as of now just keep it there okay and then same way as we have done here so we'll simply copy and paste all right so that's what we need to do as part of the constructor now what's the next bit so in the test case what we are doing here is we are selecting the filter one stop right so this filter or the selection of the filter is in the search results page okay so we'll move all of this right we'll move all of this selection code into the search flight results right so we'll simply create a method filter flights right because this is the method that we are using to filter the flights okay and paste the code here and then we have to import the dependencies here so by so simply hover over and import from selenium dot web driver common by right and then we'll import the time and this is the import time okay and then expected condition so let's copy this expected condition from search flights here all right and we'll paste the expected conditions here okay so now if you see that we have this filter flights logic externalized as well from the test case right so this click of the filter flight has been moved as well okay so now what we can do here is as part of the test case as we have done for the launch page we have created an object and we have used the method so same way what we can do is now because this launch page is inheriting the base driver right so i can use the methods that are there in the base driver as well one more thing that when we are inheriting the base driver we have to forgot the very important aspect of it so we have to use the keyword we, the the method super and then we'll simply say in it and we want to initialize the base driver right so we want to ensure that we are passing or we are initializing the super class which is the base driver right which is the base driver file and the base driver class we want to initialize whenever somebody is creating an object of this particular launch page we want to ensure that the super class methods are available in this particular class as well when somebody is creating an object of this particular launch page then you uh, they have to or you have to basically get the methods or use the methods that are there in the base driver or the parent class so this super function what it will do is it will initialize the base driver class as well and because this init method of the base driver uses the driver or it accepts the driver reference right so we just initialize the base driver constructor as well okay 
Similarly, let me copy and paste in the search flights as well. So this is the common part that we have to do. And this search flight results page also inherits from where? It inherits from base driver, right? And we'll import base driver, okay? So now both of our pages are inheriting the methods and details from the base driver class. So now if you have to use this page scroll, I can use anywhere in any of these pages. Okay, so now in the test search flights, once I am here in the search, now if I am going to use this dynamic scroll, so because I have created an object of this launch page, I can simply say LP dot scroll, right? Or page scroll, right? So you can see page scroll is available, which is coming from where? If you'll see, it will co it's coming from the base driver, right? So now you can see that instead of that lengthy code that was there, in this particular page in order to handle this page scroll to the bottom i simply have to use this method and i can reuse this method anywhere in any of the test case right now this select the filter right so this is again as part of the search flight results okay so now the search flight results is uh, the class right which which has uh, this filter flights logic so what i can do is i can create an object of this particular search flight results class so in order to create object in particular test case same way as we have done here in order to create an object what we'll do is we'll simply create uh, just copy the search flight results this class name right and we'll say just define a variable sf and we'll say search flight results and this accepts the argument driver right so search flight results it accepts the argument driver and wait right so we'll simply have the same way so self dot driver and self dot weight now we'll remove this weight very soon in next couple of tutorials but as of now just keep using it and then we'll say sf dot filter flights right so what this will do is it will call this method which is from the search flight results page okay now there is error because here i am having this logic for stop in all stops and i'm then verifying right so this bit will be basically handled when we discuss about the utility classes right or we will create the utils and we'll move this so as of now what i'll do is i'll just cut this part from here right because filter flights is this bit and the next bit is around the getting the filter results into a list and then verifying the items in the list right so this loop is verifying the items in the list so i'll move this to external utility all right so all these imports are there and now let's go ahead and try to run this particular code and see that everything works as expected right so you'll see that these are the two pages which are inheriting the base driver right and then this is the base driver where we'll be using or we'll be having the methods which will be using reusing in different test cases or we'll be wrapping up the selenium web driver methods so that we have the custom logging or exception handling etc in this base driver right now all our pages will be extending this base driver okay we'll be inheriting this base driver so uh, now let me copy the project location and open command prompt change the directory to the file where this particular to the directory where this file is and just run this particular test case with pytest so it should open the browser this is the first page right so which is the flight search page it will enter depart from going to the departure date search flights and now after searching flight it has moved to the next page wherein this filter stop function is there right so the first thing it will do is it will scroll so which is fr coming from the base driver class right we, we have externalized this to base driver so it will scroll and this scroll functionality can now be reused in different test cases so that's the whole point of having the automation framework it increases the reusability and your code is more maintainable so it's scrolling it's end of the page and now it should select the stop it has selected the stop right and it should start verifying right so it, let's see it is still right so it has failed the verification has failed as you can see it has filtered the flights which has one stop which is 24 and then it has 
started verifying the stops in those flights and then there is a assert which has failed because it couldn't found any particular value there so this is assertion failure this is not as such script failure but this is the core concept or this is the basic concept now if you see the test script now it looks much cleaner it is not at the final stage yet because we do not want to have these object uh, instantiation or creation of these pages in our test case again and again and again because here you will see I've created an object of the launch page then I've created an object of the search flight results page which is not a good approach right so we'll understand when we say page object model we'll understand how these pages are linked and then how we are going to handle the object creation in a more efficient way in upcoming tutorial right and then the next part will be we'll be externalizing this part as a utility into the util classes all right so that's all for this particular tutorial i hope this was helpful thank you very much for watching